Hello everyone and welcome back to Valhalla. Here we are. So we had our little break and uh, it was an interesting bunch of clients, wasn't it, in the beginning? <laughs> um, hopefully uh, we'll have some more interesting clients. Maybe not as interesting as Streaming Chan, but we'll see. I mean, can anyone be as interesting as her? We'll have to find out, I suppose. Ah, oh, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. Like what? What are, what are we forgetting, Jill? Is you alright? Oh, I mean, well, other than the jukebox, I guess. Um... I think I had... Someone say that they want to hear something. Let's see what- if I can remember what it was. I should have written it down. And I don't remember. Because there is so many things. Look at this. There's so many- there's so many- and we still don't even have them all. I think it's gonna take probably a while to get them all. Let's see. Alternate reality assignment. I'm at the end and I don't remember what it was. I'm very sorry. I will go back and compile a list of what you guys think uh, are the best songs in the game. All done. Feeling better? Yeah, Gil, sorry. I had to sneeze because of reasons. Oh. Fresh air does wonders for you. <laughs> I think that's what I need at this point. Well, for a given value of fresh, anyway. Oh, I guess the air is not too good in their, uh, in their future world. I insist that it sounds like dynamite. No, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded more like some heavy-duty tool. I'm not sure about these colors. I don't recognize who they are. You're a heavy-duty tool. Yes, I am. No, wait, that- Damn it! Oh, welcome back. <gasps> it's Betty and Deal! Oh, I'm so excited. Yay, I was hoping. I was really hoping that I would see them again. I could have sworn this place looked a lot more pink the last time we came. Maybe it's the lighting. Also, I need to change the TV. Because we had that already. Hey, bartender. What did that noise just now sound like to you? I say it sounds like construction, but Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. Not you too. Eh? Do you think it's dynamite then? What? No, I say it's a backfire. It's a gunshot! Firecrackers! Oh, see? Those sounds have been going on all night and we can't figure out what they are. Well, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to... Um, who is he? Gillian, nice to meet you. I don't know. You have more of a John face. <laughs> Isn't that what Jill said before? Where was he last weekend? I don't know, and I don't care. He already made amends for leaving me to fend off all the dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Oh, what the hell. I'll have a beer too. Two beers coming right up. I'm gonna get them. The big beers, because you know that I love me, my Betty and Deal. Oh, good. Uh... Do, 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 do. It's gonna take a minute to make the big ones. Uh-oh, 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 undo. Undo, I'm not undoing. How do you undo? I know I asked this before. <gasps> I gotta count. I actually literally need to sit here and count. That's ridiculous. I should be able to do this. I'm a, I'm a person with some degree of mathematical skill. Just not a lot. That's all. Bear. And then... Point more. Da da da. Now I can do this with the keyboard, everyone keeps reminding me, but I don't know, something about using the mouse is a little bit fun. Did I mess it up? Uh oh! Oh no! It's because I'm not paying attention. Wait, th the first one worked, right? So we're fine there. Just this one didn't work. Three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. Here. 
Big ones for you. I struggled with them because I suck. Thanks, but this might be too much. Oops. Oh. I'll take care of anything you don't drink, don't worry. So, tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill? That's a nice name. Did we not learn? Did she not learn our, our name from the prologue? Maybe not. Now I'm trying to recall. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hour, and we don't have that many regulars. So, it's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite the change of pace, huh? You have no idea. Um, I have a question, Jill. Is it about the girl sleeping next to you? Oh, oh my god, I forgot she's still there. <laughs> Premium. Please don't wake her up. Do you regularly let people sleep here? No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. Should you be saying that with at least 6k people listening? Let them hear. I don't care. 6k people? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24-7. That sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talked about seeing someone doing that. Yeah, and I think in the last one I forgot to mention it. I think one of the dogs was actually in the chat. I think it was the moon dog because they kept screaming moon in the chat. I don't know if it's the same person. So 6,000 people are watching and hearing us? Considering the way she's sleeping, they're probably only hearing us. Her camera's against the table. I don't know how many are still in the channel, though. I see. So, there'll be a lot more witnesses if something's said. Do any of you have a criminal past? Nope. Just a minor charge of petty vandalism. Ah, there you go. Everyone needs a little. What did you do? Painted graffiti outside of my high school saying Miss Thompson's a cunt. Oh, well done. Why'd you do that? Because Miss Thompson was a cunt. She constantly humiliated whoever got her questions wrong. Oh, blimey. I've had teachers like that when I was very young. Yeah, it sucked. Excuse me, my cough today. She also constantly bullied two of my classmates. True, I got a week of suspension and had to clean the wall. But it gave everyone the courage to speak up. So... How's stuff up at Doglandia? Well, we recently struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Aw, oh, that sounds cute. Farmer Fabrics? That name rings a bell. It's that textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. Didn't... Didn't we have her in here one time? Jill was talking about that story. Oh, yeah, that one. We had her in here some time ago. She got drunk and... So much saliva everywhere. Oh. But, anyway, dog clothes? We hired a new employee and she showed the higher up some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know. But something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I'm still handling this beer, so I'm fine. You're such a wuss. I'll have a Zen star, please. Sure. Betty wants a Zen star. Should I make it large again? God, I don't want to kill the poor girl. All right. Uh, let's see. Four of each ingredient on the rocks and mix. Oh well, that's already large. So we can't. God, this is a lot. She gonna be all right? After that big beer as well. Oops. A Zen Star, here you are. Looks like a blue coconut. Zen Star. Thank you. Hmm. Something on your mind? That girl that's designing the clothes. Laura? What about her? She's cute, but she should take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now, she fits the unkempt cutie category so well it's almost painful. Oh, you scoping her out, were you? It's so cliche that I can't help but cringe when looking at her. Man, they are spilling the tea in here. Cringe? It's like when you see something that's such a cheesy movie cliche, you just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. K kick 
Betsy, I didn't think I'd have to say this to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. Oh, wait. He said it before? What? I wasn't gonna kick her. Why'd you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently unprovoked or due to complicated reasons only you understand. Fine. Guilty as charged. Still, I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential and I'm not gonna let her waste it. Oh my god, Dana just shows up between everyone. It's the best. Hey, Jill, I'm gonna check the antenna on the roof. All right. She's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? Nope, I'm just the veterinarian. The dogs were the one that organized a meeting with her. I'd say she's really good looking, but honestly, those pants rob her of her charm. Wow, you're very, very judgmental. <laughs> I get it, it happens. What do you mean? They make her look too uptight, and at a glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or skirt would fit her better. Hmm. Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. There was also this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome! Damn, she has nice hearing. Now that I think about it, you have that hobby of speculating when someone's personality is like based on just their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Amazing, you actually made that sound weird as hell. Yes, I have the habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it's not a hobby. You made it sound like I'm some sort of creep. Uh, I did? What did you think about me? Nothing much, really. Mostly that you were too polite. Not a natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You're that way because you need to be. That was it, really. Although, the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed interested in what I had said. Like you'd like to see that scenario. Well, maybe. You're thinking too much. Jill, she got your number, though. What do you think about Gil, then? Hmm. Oh no, poor, poor Gil. We're always talking crap, and he's always, like, right to our left. Hmm. <laughs> he's either a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have... You'll have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone into your taste and drinks. You'll thank me later, trust me. Then, two strong drinks, manly drinks, I don't care which ones. W well, you shut up. Two strong manly drinks, manly. Um, gut punch. I wish it would just go through like when you're sorting by type. Spicy, manly, strong. One of these is enough to leave your face red like the planet. God, this is a, a suplex. Bitter, manly, and burning. That also sounds really good, doesn't it? Um. Crevice spike. Have we, have we made this one? I'm not actually sure anymore. It's, so, you know what? It's hard to remember sometimes. There's so many. Has she ordered this Mars Blast before? I want to say maybe. So maybe I'll make that, because she ordered it once before, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. One, two, three, four. One, two. And blended. It says spicy, manly, strong. I'm assuming that this will work. Mars Blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. One, two, three, four. One, two. Blend it. Man, uh, would I make a good bartender in real life? Probably not. Here. Now drink. Go ahead, deal. Can robots even get drunk? I think I asked this before and I wasn't sure. Nf oh, man up. You'll get used to it. Hey, Jill, has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? What? You know, make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a prank? God, that's awful. Who would do that? 
Jill? First year of high school, the guy I had my eye on for a whole year had asked me out. Saturday morning, I go to the meeting place. What do I find? It was all a prank by some bitches. Oh, that's terrible. Ouch. Sorry, I... The worst part isn't that they set me up, but rather that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later just for kicks. I knew it all, so when it happened, I felt nothing. They confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. Oh. I guess that's true for everybody, really, at some point. God, that was deep. Anyway, why the question? Betty, that hasn't happened to you, has it? Hey, piece of scrap? Yeah? These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. I mean, deal's right. Sometimes you gotta mess up bad to, to learn and grow. Why the question, though? Uh, um... I was asking because one of my ex's cousins had been hitting on me the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably put her cousin up to it as a practical joke. That's not nice. Well, I'd suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Waterboarding. Oh. Y yeah M Maybe not that. Man, Deal really does keep her grounded, huh? I can see why they're best friends. I said, what? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me most. The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer, and I see nobody making a fuss about that. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially when you factor that Gina's being honest about her, she probably won't feel offended. Gina, which one was that again? Blonde, flat as a cutting board, but cute as a button. Oh, yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's the one. Well, it's getting late. We should be going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Jill. Bye. Aww. I love when they come in. I really do like their dynamic a lot. You know, I find their dynamic very relatable. Please come again. Back. Hey, girl, how you doing? Are those damn cats moving the internet antenna? Oh yeah, Gil, some guy said I should tell you that the bunny's late, whatever the hell that means. Oh shit. Boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. What is going on with his life right now? We'd better find that out. Holy crap, is he okay? Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't we be worried? Think of him as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention and everything will be easier. Yeah, but what if he's not? Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that didgeridoo tutorial. Oh, that, that actually sounds like fun. <gasps> hey, babe. How are you? Hello, Jill. Ah, Stella. You here for another drink today? No, not really. I was just around the neighborhood and... Right. Anyway, I found this bottle being neglected at my house and thought someone who likes old liquor as much as you would appreciate it. Really? I, I don't know what to say. Thanks. Well, it's nothing really. This just in. Hmm? The Apollo Trust Bank has locked its doors, leaving about 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning, the bank... Oh gods, say! Oh no, I hope she's okay. What was this bottle that she gave us? I wonder if she'll be alright. Oh, hello Jamie. Oh, hello Terminator, what's going on with you? Remember, we met this guy before and even though he looks really rough, he was really very nice. Oh god, what voice did I give him? Good evening, Jill. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? The news flash just ended. Sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. 
Something about people being able to leave the building. Oh, let's hope for the best. Yeah. Gil stormed off just a minute ago, though. I see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows what's going on. I think, well, I mean, I think they're good friends, right? What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Coming right up. Big one for you, Don, because you're really, really nice. Oh, wait, can I make this large? Oh, I don't reckon. Right, right, this one's already big. We just made it earlier. God, this music is jumping. It's so good. One thing I just don't, I, I have to make a tiny complaint, is that a lot of the music is louder than others, so sometimes I have to go back and like turn certain ones down. That's okay, though. I just wish they were a little more level. I know that's kind of hard to do when you have like super relaxing music and then boom. One Mars Blast. Yeah, this is the one. Mars Blasts have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellow? Well, then again, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. VR, can't believe I'm myself. Hey, who's this girl? Oh, she calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24-7. I'm guessing her equipment's still running, so you might want to watch what you say. Oh, thanks for the advice. <laughs> Changing the subject a bit. Have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? I heard that a supersonic drone was undergoing tests and lost its course. That might be it. Ah. Hey, boss. The explosions were caused by supersonic drones. That sounds better than firecrackers. We've been trying to figure out what they were all day. Huh, I see. The sonic booms are not sounds people can normally identify. And this one drone made a lot of noise when breaking the sound barrier. Is this an area to test that kind of stuff? It's not, which makes the whole thing quite suspicious. Huh. Oh man, if only Gil was here to hear that info, he thought they were gunshots. Are you worried about him? Well, sort of. He always leaves without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. I'd be lying if I said I'm not worried, but at the same time I've just kind of become used to it. He can be a troublesome man, huh? Sometimes. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be alright? This isn't the first time a bank's been closed like that, but something's off about this. Off? How? I don't know. Maybe it's the hour. Maybe it's the fact that the news is making an unusually big stink of it. Let's hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? Well, a girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to the bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but... Oh, never mind. Do you want something else? Yeah, I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. I'll make him a big one. Like I said, he's a nice guy. I'm here for- I gave him a little bit of a weird southern accent, I don't know, it just- it just felt right. Maybe it doesn't work with his, like, outward appearance, but I don't you know, you can't really judge anybody by their appearance. I guess unless you're Betty, she likes to do that. Mixed. And a beer. Here! I once read the beer played an important part in humanity's history. Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It's an interesting one. The gist of it is, is that brewing was an important part of society during its development. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting. They helped to foster bonds and build faction alliances. Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. You seem to know a lot about it. Nah, just enough. Jill, have you ever thought about brain uploading? Brain uploading? I was thinking, what's the point of uploading yourself if you're still here? Let's say you upload yourself and effectively that new someone's in cyberspace, you'll still be here. Wouldn't it be weird to know that there's a you that's not somewhere? Or that's not you somewhere? That's an interesting point. I guess it'd be the same as cloning, huh? Imagine if your cyberspace self somehow find out about the real you. Hell, imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of you in a different situation. Exposing each one to different scenarios to see how they develop. I guess it's kind of heartbreaking in a way. Imagine someone with some illness uploading their brain into the ether, only to find out their physical bodies are still alive and here instead of living in a place where there's no disease. I remember an article from a while back about the earliest forms of brain uploading. 
It would scan the brain in such a thorough, intense manner that it would effectively kill the person. It used the words, burn the brain. Ow! All for nothing, because the data would be corrupted or broken. They halted all brain uploading research after that. I think they started another project about living brains in jars or something after that. Is that a Futurama reference? I don't know. That subject interests you, huh? It makes for a nice time sink when I'm doing nothing. Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. Bye, Jamie. It was nice seeing you again. Same here. Always a pleasure. Say hello to Gillian for me when he comes back. Please come again. Oh, all done. Hey, you want to stay here? Seems the street's quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah. I ordered a nano camo module for my apartment. It should be installed by now. Nano camo? Isn't that a tad expensive? Yeah. To be honest, I asked my mom for it. She'd been pestering me about what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. She's been asking that for four years and I always said I was fine. So I took the chance and asked her for it. Used up all the past gifts. Oh. Feels a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So what will the nano camo module change from your apartment? Well, I got the basic plan. Walls and one piece of cloth, so I picked my katatsu too. You have a katatsu? Oh, I guess Dana's never been over to our apartment before. You know what a katatsu is, boss? I'm more impressed you know what it is. I mean, futons are common knowledge, but a katatsu not so much. Yo, have you ever been under a katatsu? It is so cozy. Yeah, well, days get cold and the heater might not be enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced space. You should invite me sometime. I want to see how you decorate the place with that. Let's plan a day to grab a beer, yeah. No more dancing. Oh, I'm tired. What do we do with her? I'll take care of everything, don't worry. Alright, sorry for leaving her like this. No problem. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. Alright. Oh, we made quite a nice amount today. We got a flawless service bonus again. We got some nice tips. They weren't as high as some of our other tips have been. Get a nice wall pattern or something from Dana. Oh, that's lovely. Alright. We can now use nano camo to customize our room. Is it weird that I want to do that right now? How do I how do I do it? Oh. Do I do it by my phone? Is it an app? Whoa, god. Oh, nano camo app. It's right here. It says it. Incredible by the augmented eye. Let's customize walls and table. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay. Oh, it does cost money. It does cost a little bit of money. That's okay. Well, we can just look. Oh my god, that's really expensive, but I want it. You know that I'm gonna get that right when we have money for it. And then our Kotatsu could also get updated, but right now I think we're gonna leave it the way it is, because I want to save my money just in case. So in the next version of Valhalla, we'll go ahead and read the news, we'll see if we can read about what happened to the bank, and I really hope Say is okay. And maybe we can buy something, who knows? Uh, if you know something that I should be buying or something, uh, you can let me know about that, I don't mind too much. And then uh, we'll see how the next day goes. I hope that everything's going to be okay. It seems like there's a lot of unrest, but we'll have to find out soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I'll see you soon in the next one. Toodaloo!